Hello, this is Professor Baring giving you a short overview of public health opportunities. Um, first of all, I want to say take advantage of every opportunity. Update your resume this summer and fall and always keep it up to date. You should update your resume every two to three months with every opportunity that you ever get. Establish connections with your professors. They will be your future job reference or connection to an opportunity. Reach for the stars. And what I mean by that, always go for every opportunity. Hang out with people that have the same ambitions and desires and passions that you do in life. And you'll find with public health students that often you'll get inspired by each other. Take advantage of that. And yes, I'm not always going to be here. Um, I um, will be moving up to Bend, Oregon and be doing a community college position up there and, and you'll be hearing more about that. But I will be working with BC in the future and I will be working with this Levin Research Grant and I'll be working with all these different grants with Janie Yaden and, um, and uh, Lisa Caputo and we have a great new staff person, Charles Dar Darmola, that will be coming on staff. And so keep um, up to date on Slack and be ready for an invitation that will probably be coming out in August. So we'll be talking to you guys more about that. But here's something you need to keep. And if you're like, what? I don't understand. Um, you can email me or message me on Slack and I can tell you more about that. Um, here are two paid opportun two opportunities. There's paid opportunities, and these are where the agency sets you up as an employee and you work directly for that agency. So know that you're on their payroll, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. And then there are grant opportunities, and this is where you complete a task and you received a, a will receive a green light, and that should be will receive instead of re will received, but you get it. A green light to spend hours via job speaker into a prearranged partnership. So let's talk about that paid intern employment before. These are internships through employers like Kern Family Healthcare or Kern County Superintendent Schools. You have to apply for those and you have to go through a competitive application and you need to make that deadline and go to their interviews and be selected by them. These are only happening through invitation, so if you see that you've been invited to do this, you need to jump on it. Second, our grant opportunities. And it's because I've applied for different grants, the California Endowment, the Kaiser Grant, and the Levin Research Grant. The, each of these are not direct paid by hours, but you completing a task, and then you will receive a green light to submit for hours via job speaker or to a prearranged partnership. So what it means by that is that um, I will have specific tasks, like submit a pre-approved article to the newspaper. So if you've been asked to write an op-ed piece or you've been asked to do a writing piece, you need to get that done. Once that gets done, then you get paid um, so many hours. You complete the bulletin board and at the Southwest or you do an outreach activity and you get that done and you take a picture and then you'll get so many hours submitted. You did... Um, we have data collection happening for the research grant. You need to submit so many hours and then you'll get um, an incentive. And um, I'm going out and buying Starbucks cards this afternoon. So that's what I mean by that is that there will be incentives for you guys. Um, you have to complete a training. You have to complete so many hours of outreach hours. When these are grant activities, you do something and then you get paid. But most important, it's about the connections you make with the people in the public health program. It's about these connections that tie you up to job or, uh, that later on will tell you about a great job opportunity or a great um, school experience or someone that you can study with and you can dream with. Know that you're making an impact in this community, that you're making a difference in children's lives and the future and, and the health of our community. Know that Professors like Janie Yaden, myself, um, and Charles um, Daramola that you're going to meet, Dr. Daramola, and uh, Lisa Caputo, we're here to support you and we think the world of you. Know that there's going to be great opportunities for you to continue to do outreach and to have opportunities like with UCLA 
or working with the Kern County Superintendent of Schools and reaching out to high schools. The community partners are really excited about you and what you can bring to this um, community. There's Matt Constantine and Bryn Kerrigan from um, the Kern County Public Health Department. They're excited about you and that your outreach and what you do can make a difference um, through media, through the people that you talk to. We have the first Public Health Science Associate Transfer Degree in Kern County and you guys are on that pathway and we also have the Health Navigator Certificate of Achievement which is exciting too. What is next? We're going to have more online opportunities. Dr. Charles Daramola is coming to be seen. I'm going to have a great little introduction party for him and I'm hoping you guys can come to it. There's a Levin Research Grant that's really exciting. We're doing some data collection and we have outreach activities. And then I want you to stay up to date with via Slack channel with me because I'm going to have some more opportunities throughout the summer and into the fall. And I want to say, make sure that we stay in touch. Know that there's a lot going on, but that I'm here and that just because maybe some things I might be moving on and doing different things in the fall, it doesn't mean that I've dropped off the face of the earth and that I'm excited about these opportunities. So let's stay in touch. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me directly in Slack or email me and I hope this little PowerPoint was informative for you.